Hey everybody, I'm Surreal Canine, and this is a, a chat overlay that needs a CSS refresh. There we go, that's better. Alright, let's close this. Close that, close uh, Joy Key. Alright, good to go. So, uh, hey everybody, Surreal K9, uh, playing Final Fantasy IX. Uh, let's open a Steam client to get to it. Here we go. Final Fantasy IX, it's a video game. You might have heard of it. So, uh, previously on Final Fantasy IX, we visited the Black Mage Village, then we went back to Condé Petit, uh, everybody got married, and now we uh, have a little girl following us. Not Zidane's daughter, her name is Aiko, and she is a second white mage in summer. Which button was the menu? Hey! Just like me, when you play different RPGs, it gets all confused. <laughs> I, hit the, I hit the menu button for Saga Frontier. We call the Moogle.
Yeah, I think we need to go in the maiden theory here. That's right. Whoa, loading, loading, loading. Yeah, that's right, because we left off, because there's something on the beach. That's where we need to go. Okay. Oh, look, I got in the fight anyway. So who's still here? I bet you guys are still here. Oh no, it's Goblin Mages. No! Gobbles, yes. That is going to be Echo's feelings, ATA. Okay. All right, Sapphire has mastered Jelly. I did it again. Oh, wait a second. Why is Aiko in the front row? She shouldn't be in the front row. Wait, she is in the back row, what the heck?
Okay, I see nothing at all on the beach. Maybe it's a different beach. It's that. Alrighty, I'm back before you reach the main inside of Yeah. I don't know why I always keep forgetting to buy a pizza cutter. First trance. If she gets like double white gauge. Dane, this is my home. Dane, sorry. Do you live here? It's a pile of rubble. Sapphire. What happened here? This place is in ruins. Koopo, Mocha, Moko, Chimomo. Toast, Morrison. Where's Mog? Oh, Mog got eaten. Mog. Goodbye, goodbye. No, I'm not mad. Don't ever leave me behind again, okay? Koopo! Zidane, follow me! Get to work, you guys! <clears throat> Koopo, yes ma'am! Mog, you stay here with me. Okay, come on. Did that Moogle go inside your dress? Yep, Mog always stays with me. Goopo! Zidane, come sit over here. Hey! Tell me more about yourself. Tell me! Sure, I don't know more, know more about you too, Aiko. Really? For instance, the Eidolon. Where are you from? How old are you? What do you do? Where are you going? No, what I want to know is... What kind of foods do you like? What kind of islands do you like? What type <laughs> of moodles do you like? What kind of girls do you like? I've never met anyone like you before. Sapphire? What's wrong? You look dazed. Oh, it's nothing. Do you have a fever? Yeah. You're fine. Hey, are you jealous? Why would I be jealous? 
Are you and Sapphire really just friends? Seems like you guys are something more. Well... Yeah, we're more than friends. So, what are you guys? We're a team. A team? Yeah. Vivi's also part of the team. Hey, where did he go? Is this sort of like me and the Moogles? Something like that. All clean, Koopo! Thanks, Mocha! I'll be right there! I'm gonna start cooking. You have to come eat at my place later, okay? There's still stuff I want to ask her. Let's accept her invitation. Okay. I'll call you when the food's ready. Don't go too far. Wait, yeah, Vivi's feeling, sure. But at, right at the fountain by the broken spot, you'll find a Stelazio. Okay. <laughs> Mr. 288 told me that I understand what it means to live and to die. But it's only because I thought stopping was different from dying. I don't think I really understand what it means to live and to die. Where do we come from? Do we go back there when we die? If that's what it means to live, I wonder where I came from. Where will I end up when I die? Why am I shaking? What is it that I'm feeling? Talk the dagger. I'm a little I'm tired. Oop. I think I found it. Yeah. Libra! Yay! We can change the past now. Okay. Talk the dagger again. There should be a thing that plays. Nope. She just says she's a little tired. Uh, okay, there's... Uh, go... Let me see... Talk to Vivi south of the fountain. Well, well, actually, go. I guess we gotta go somewhere. Just to get that Echo's feelings to pop up. Jeez, what a dump. Must have been like this for at least 10 years. What can Echo possibly feed us? <clears throat> there you go. Thanks for cleaning! You guys did a great job! A clean house worthy of hosting my hero Zidane! But here's where the real challenge begins. I don't think Zidane and Sapphire are dating yet. Sapphire has been slow to catch on to Zidane's moves. That means there's plenty of time for me to get between them. I'm gonna cook lots of yummy food and show Zidane what a good homemaker I am. Koopo, it might work if you cook good food. But Aiko screws up a lot when she cooks. We don't have much food in stock right now. I know! That's why I can't screw up! You're all gonna help me! Oh! You po po. You po. I'm sleepy. You're all gonna help! I'm gonna cook my specialty! Rock fisted potato stew! Koopo. Yeah, that's delicious. The last one you made tasted so bad, I thought my pom-pom would fall off. Just stew? Yeah, I think I'll need another dish. What do you guys think? Koopo, how about some fish? Fresh fish tastes great barbecued. Yeah, 
That sounds good. Okay, our menu is rock fisted potato stew and barbecued fish. Let's see. Who should go fishing? Momotos. Momotos, yes. Go, Momotos. Koopo. Who should go dig up potatoes? Mocha. Timomo, you help me in the kitchen. Start cooking. Grandpa, I don't want to be alone anymore. Help me do this right. All right, time to... South should be Vivi to talk to, it says. It might be Southwest, maybe? I don't know if he's not there south. I mean, there's two exits south, so I guess maybe they mean Vivi? west. What's up? Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking. Well, I'll try not to think too much. Get some rest. Okay, thanks, Zidane. There we go. Alright. After you're done talking to VV. Sapphire's feelings! Uh, yep. Sapphire's feelings. Of course, play that, yes. A village of summoners. I read about them in a book once. A tribe that possesses the power to call forth Eidolons. Eidolons. Knowing that I had Eidolons inside me didn't bring me any joy. Mother imprisoned me, used the Eidolons she stole from me as tools of war. I thought I would kill my Eidolons if Kuja was going to use them for war. But now that they're gone, I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Why am I thinking all this now? Must be a location. This place feels so familiar to me somehow. Koopo, please head, wait. Head, no, head north of the fountain. Okay. Oop. Oh, he wants me to go somewhere. Uh, that might have messed something up. Aiko's Kitchen! Okay, well that's good. Uh... Yeah, if something messes up here, then we'll have to, okay. we'll have to reload or something. How many people do I need to cook for? There's me and Zidane. Uh, there's that quiet boy, Vivi. I guess I should cook for Sapphire, too. And all you guys, Mog, Moko, Mocha, Chimomo, Momotos, and Morrison. We put water on for all the people I listed? I'll get the ingredients. Goodbye! Ten, right? Eleven. Uh, yeah, eleven. Eleven people, Koopo! Don't forget Quena. We'll see if the last part of this is going to work correctly, if not... Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, lots and lots of nuts. Should I put in that oglap I found on the Conde Petit mountain path? Doesn't sound all that great to me, but I don't know how odd no, taste do not now. Put the Thanks. Let's start. Get the water going, a good shake of salt. Tito, potato, pumpkin bomb, another shake of salt. Lots and lots of nuts. I caught one, Koopo! It's heavy, Koopo. Do not let go. Keep stirring, Chimomo. Don't let it burn. 
This is big! We'll pull it together on three, okay? One, two, three! <laughs> ah! Well, Kata showed up anyways. You were supposed- at least it still worked, you are supposed to go north and Kata would have fallen in the water. Yeah. So you just missed Kata jump, die, uh, jumping into water, water and going, SQUEEE! <laughs> that Moogle is called Moko. Moko is very proud of his role as the idol on wall guard. Eiko's decision to show the idol on wall to outsiders upset him. But we Moogles love Eiko. He'll understand in time. Why does the wall need protection? The idol on wall has been protected by Eiko's summoner tribe for generations. Summoner tribe? I'm gonna get Sapphire. She can use summon magic. Is that true? Hey, Sapphire. Come with me. I'll show you something big. Summon magic stuff. Summon magic? Yeah, it's called the Eidolon Wall. Please come in. The Eidolon Wall is this way. Eidolon Wall is a collection of paintings. The Summoner Tribe painted all the Eidolons they found during their research. These Eidolons all exist? Kupo. This is a holy place for the Summoner Tribe. Lady Eiko comes here every day to pray and burn incense for her ancestors. What's this one? There's a Tomos. That's Bahamut. What's wrong, Sapphire? I... You'll get it back. I want to look at the murals some more. Okay. I don't know most of these Eidolons. The Summoner Tribe honors nature. They named this world Gaia. They consider the Eidolons guardians of this planet. They attempted to become one with nature through their summon magic research. The tribe migrated to this location 500 years ago, but now... Eiko's Kitchen 2! Your bait not so good. Pale, white hair, strange clothes. Zidane told me about you. You're Kuja! <laughs> Zidane looked for a man named Kuja. I called Queena. Oh, you chased Ma on the Kani Pati mountain path. I'm Aiko. Ma, don't ever come out while they're around. Kupo. Smell good. Don't eat anything! The heat too low. You can cook? It's my destiny to pursue Way of Gourmand. This must be a helper from above. Ask Queena for advice. Hmm. I know how many people live in this village. Is the Danes group, the Mughals, and me make 11 people? Is good amount. This heat only strong enough to make food for 9 people. Was well, not possible to make enough for everyone. No! I teach you a very important lesson in cooking. Always make more than you need. Maybe more people show up. 
Maybe our guest's very hungry. You correct to make food for more than ten people. This your only ingredient for stew? Mocha went to dig up some rock fisted potatoes. He has a problem now with heat. How do we get more heat? Hmm. Ah, I know! I know Black Mage! I asked him make fire. Okay. Check where Dagger was sitting by the okay. uh, fountain before. Aiko and her people protected Eidolon Wall for generations. We Moogles also help Aiko protect the wall. Don't mess it up! Where are all the other people of her tribe? I can't tell you. Check where Dagger... where she initially was sitting. Okay. Unless you haven't seen everything in here, but... There's... Oh, there's something. Tent! Seems an uncomfortable thing to sit on, but... <laughs> Okay, and if you watched everything up at the uh, wall, then talk to the mug by the kitchen doorway. I think I saw everything at the wall. Sapphire was just talking about stuff. Yeah, if you've seen everything, then talk by the mug. At the talk to the mug. Koopo, Koopapo. Wow, this looks great. Koopa Popo -po -po. Welcome, Zidane. Have a seat. You made a lot. What's his name? Uh, Queena? They helped me. They helped you without eating all the food? Amazing. VV2! <laughs> Let's eat! How is it? Wow, the stew tastes amazing. You should start a restaurant. The fish is just right. Hey, Aiko, where are all the other summoners? Are they hiding underground or something? Underground? Yeah. They're all underground, sleeping the eternal sleep. What? I'm the last survivor of my tribe. I've been living with Moogles ever since my grandpa died last year. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm really happy here. Ten years ago, which is four years before I was born, a natural disaster struck the village. Even the survivors suffered a great deal. But my mom and dad fell in love and had a family. Not that I remember what they looked like, because they died when I was very young. I see. I'm like a beautiful young heroine in turmoil, don't you think? Huh? You know why I'm here in this village? It was to meet you, Zidane, my beautiful shooting star. That's a line from Lord Avon's play, Wishing Upon a Star. How do you know? Darn it! How does Aiko know about that play? This place is far from the Mist Continent. Thank you. Thanks, Aiko. That was really good. See? Don't you want to eat my food every day? Maybe. Hey, there's some other stuff I want to ask you. Maybe? It's so rude of you! Sedane, so help me clear the table. Bring the pot over to the kitchen. Yeah, clear Just. the table and then bring the pot. So it wasn't just Sapphire. Zidane is really slow, too. Those two are going nowhere fast. Well, this is good news for me. When you get the chance, check by the waterfall for coffee. Is there something on my face? Thanks, Zidane. Could you leave it there? Hey, Aiko, do you know anything about the... about the Aoife tree? What about the Aoife tree? You want to go there. It's sealed with an Eidolon. You can't get in. Sealed? Did you seal it, Echo? 
Well, so sharp about certain things. It all happened before I was born, but they sealed an Eidolon that we failed to summon in the Aoife tree. It's our custom to seal a failed Eidolon where we summon it. An Eidolon you failed to summon? Kermon Coffee! Is there another chest? No. Just, yeah, talk there, Lauren. And Echo, will you break the seal for us? What? No way! It's not like we're going to do anything bad. Well, I'm sure we can handle it on our own. No way! Are you crazy? You won't do it? No. Okay, just talk to whoever you want. There's this person... more in the kitchen too if you didn't. I got it. Me. This person keeps telling me to catch more fish, Koopo. Zidane, I'm a great discovery. These fish different from miscontinent fish. And they just talked to him. There's the so many old Justice books King. here. I think this one is Lord Avon's Wishing Upon a Star. Can you believe this? This is a first edition. I've only ever seen one at the Castle Library. Why is she in books that are more than 500 years old? You should get some sleep before you go. Okay. Vivi, you better get some sleep before we leave tomorrow. I tried to stop worrying about things, but I just can't. I know you told me not to think too much, but... That's because we're different, Vivi. You don't have to do everything my way, you know? I want to stop. I don't want to feel like this anymore. What if I keep feeling like this, Vivi? Well, in the end it boils down to two simple choices. Either you do or you don't. You'd think with all the problems in this world there'd be more answers. It's not fair. But that's the way things are. The choice is yours. Zidane. I just want to protect the people I'm with. It doesn't matter whether I can or not, it's what I believe in. I knew it! I was right! Zidane is the man for me! He's right, you either do or you don't. My choice is clear, I want to go with Zidane! You want to know a trick to get your mind off things? Okay. This is an age-old ritual between male friends. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on here, Vivi. Let's go together. I forgot about this. <laughs> Doesn't it feel nice to let yourself go under the stars? Time to take a piece. Why did Vivi just suddenly teleport over there? That was weird. <laughs> it was supposed to move over there to begin with. The heck? Sedane, <laughs> I want to come back here. When I first saw the Eidolon wall, I was scared. But when I went inside and saw the murals, they calmed me. I want to see more. Sure, we'll come back after we check out the Aoife tree. Thank you. We gotta come back and get Queena anyway, we can't just leave him here. Are you coming back here for Eiko? Eiko's only six years old, she acts tough, but I think she's lonely. I haven't seen her today. You're right. Koopo! Eiko! <laughs> You 
can't break the seal of the Aoife tree without calling an Eidolon. You're coming with us? Don't you want me to? Of course I want you to come along. That's what I thought. Okay, I'll join your team for a while. Vivi, Sapphire, let's have fun! Aoife tree is beyond the Condi Petit mountain path. Let's go! Why are you so nice to everyone, Zidane? Huh? What do you mean by that? Forget I asked. I think she was mad. You think so too? Please look after Lady Aiko. Come see us if there is any trouble. Sure thing. Any Mognet now that uh, we're leaving? If you leave and come back, you can talk to a okay. Mognet will open the shop. Vivi, have you figured out a solution to your problem? <clears throat> Not really. But I'm moving on. <coughs> Good. It's not much, but I found some goods for your journey. I hate to say this, but our village could use some capital. I'll have to charge you for this. Is that right? So... Let's see... Anything... Uh, pinwheel! For nobody. Buy one. It's a throwing item. Oh, okay. Ah, gotcha. Buy the poison knuckles, too. I already have one. Alright. Okay. Off to the tree! Indeed. Go the north path like you did the last time on accident. <sighs> yeah, sweetie, what did you think was going to happen? Are you trying to lick my plate? I put habanero sweetie cheese kitty on that cat. pizza. It's a sweetie, a sweetie kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. She's licking up the habanero cheese. That's going to regret that. It's a kitty, 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 I guess she doesn't care that it's spicy. Kitty, and... kitty, 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 <coughs> the Aoife tree, there is blue magic you can learn from zombie and stroper. Okay, but I don't think Queen is in the party. I think you could move him in the party? Yeah. Let's find out, I guess. You sound about as exhausted as I am. Mm. All right, Echo mastered Fenrir and float. Whoops! <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Dang it, Saga Frontier. Okay, she can't learn to summon, uh... She can't learn to summon, uh, Rami, can... but she can learn Phoenix. And Haste, uh, and MP plus 10%. That sounds good. Uh, yeah. You're gonna get something fairly soon. Insomniac! 
And air racket to get Panacea. You're gonna need another emerald to give to uh, friendly creatures later. Mm. <gasps> I don't have any emeralds. You just equipped one on Aiko. Oh. You're gonna get a ruby soon that you can use for learning stuff. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go back and see if I can add Queena to the party. I think you can right now. I think you can do it from your, like, inventory or whatever. Order? Nope. Uh -huh. I forgot how you changed the party members up there. I'm gonna go All back right. to... It says later on, Koina okay. isn't with us, so you'll have to wait for the blue magic. Why did you say that before you listed the blue magic? It sounds uh, like a terrible guide. It's actually a really good one, it's just... I, some stuff is kind of a little weird. This is also reformatted from the old game facts too, so... Uh. Yeah, so don't worry about the blue magic. It's just Rolay and level 5 death, so it's not like... Uh, and Rolay is randomly inflicts death on a random enemy or ally. Woohoo! Yeah. Santa's tactics advance. So maybe I shouldn't be spending quite so much MP on summons, but just want to get these fights over with, you know? Yeah. I thought I gave Aiko another summon. What did I give her? Phoenix? Uh, I gave her haste, I think. Oh yeah, you gave her taste with the uh, emerald or something. I did it again! The tree. Aoife, the ancient tree of life. There's mist here. So this place really must be the source of the mist. You okay? I'm fine. Whoa! What was that? That was the seal. It shouldn't hurt you, but are you alright? Yeah, it didn't hurt. Hmm. <laughs> Ask Echo, <Aiko>, yeah. <laughs> Did you say they used the power of an Eidolon to seal this place? Amazing. How do you break it? I'm going to ask the Eidolon to come back. The Summoner's Horn allows us to communicate with Eidolons and wild animals. I'll break the seal now. Watch! Boom! 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 By the light of our spirits, I call upon thee! Answer my Something call! To remember for later, hmm? where they talk about the failed summon and stuff, just to keep that in mind later. Wherever your soul may be. Ruby! Finished. We can go inside now. Thanks. You can teach an adorable summon. Yay. Is it Carbuncle? Yes. 
Was that Carbon the spell? Would that... Have, depending on which gem is equipped. Was that the spell to break the seal? Nope. All I do is focus my thoughts into my horn. Then why were you... That was just for show. The spell is actually much longer, but the Eidolon asked me to hurry it up. I didn't hear anything. Alright, let's go. Uh, yeah, I... Yeah, I guess I'll keep the emerald on, since we need to give it away soon. Oh, yeah, uh... Let's see... Oh, you don't have a lot of, uh, stuff. Never mind. Oh, that's an ugly tree thing. Tent a tree. That's a uh, stroper. Yeah. That's the thing that Queena can eat. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. It doesn't have much health, at least. Well, it does for a party of one physical attacker and three mages, but... Peridot! Nice. I think that's the thing that teaches Ramu? I think so, yeah. Hey there, Moodle. Give Mochi a letter. A letter from Magrio? Thanks, Koopo. A kid named Vivi came to the Black Mage Village. His eyes were so sad. Like he had the way of the world on his shoulders, Koopo. Now we're gonna shout it out, even if the words seem meaningless. It's like I'm carrying the weight of the world. What? Is that very heavy, Koopo? I want mail, Koopo! Guess I might as well save since I'm here. Okay, once you go down the equivalent of an elevator, look for an offshoot with the option to push something. Okay. And then the screen after that, look on the left side, there's a hidden switch that will give you a healing rod. I, after you push something, you can get a phoenix down. What's this? Looks old. I wonder who built it. I need to get some water. Me too. This way. Hey, are you all right? Salad. Are you all right? Uh, aren't you guys scared of heights? Gosh, you look so helpless. 
Why don't you stay here and let us handle the rest? No, I'm going with you guys. I have to. Then don't leave my side, okay? Okay, thanks. Eiko, do you know anything about this place? Nope, this is my first time inside the Aoife tree. This place looks ancient. <laughs> what the... <sighs> Alright then. Sedane! I'll be fine, don't worry. Here it comes again. And it works. I'm gonna see where it takes me. I'll call you guys over if everything's alright. I'm coming with you. Me too. Me too! Okay, well I'll go. Alrighty. Looking for. Did you get the... I'm it still like... looking for it. I think that's the hidden switch. Oop! Enemy. It was on the second screen down as a thing to push. Okay, so this screen. Eh. Lucky has arrived. Oh no, it's a kitty. Lucky. It's a kitty cat. A kitty cat. He's a kitty cat. He's a lucky buddy. Go away, Zambi. <sighs> Oh look, Zidane did the trance. Something sticking out. Push it. Phoenix down. <coughs> Hi, potion. It's getting pretty dark. This feels like an end of disc two sort of location. There's the hidden switch on this one here.
Excuse me, no. coffee for some reason. The heck? I'm guessing that's fireworks so we can smell. Mm, maybe. Let's see. Who else learned something I wasn't looking? I think you learned all you can learn. Oh yeah, it was MP plus 10. Lucky. Halfway to haste. Ether. Let me is flute. To be on the left side, there's a hidden switch that drops a healing rod. The heck? Remedy. You've gone too far for the healing rod, so. <laughs> He's a lucky. Bang, bang, bang. He's a lucky. Lucky kitty cat. He's such a lucky kitty cat. Meow, 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 He's a kitty. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should have somebody heal at some point. But let's see if this works. Should work. It doesn't matter. <laughs> do, do, do. Ability up. Jelly. Does anything better teach jelly? Yeah. No. Okay, nothing. It should drop a uh, life rod from pushing the button. Uh, nothing I'm, seems I'm to have happened. Maybe it fell off death? screen. Yeah, maybe it fell off screen. Do you think I would have heard something?
Hey, more Peridot is good. Haste is almost mastered too. That's good. You will get some carbuncle action in. I just don't like exit off the screen. The south, yeah, yeah. Maybe it dropped up top. Maybe. Yeah, it dropped in a previous area. It says. I can't see through Lucky, but I moved him enough to see. Oh no! These things can be dangerous, but you can cast life on it. Dead. I think. Yep. Dead. All right, we got haste. Nice. Yeah. Also. Oh, sapphire gets high tide from the sapphire. <laughs> Lucky, don't hit the buttons. There's no soundboard going off right now. You can't hit that. So it ain't mastered something. Didn't see why. Rod. I could have guessed that's for Sapphire. <laughs> Healer! Okay. I think if you physically attack, it heals. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, restores targets HP. Okay. I mean, it works against the undead, at least. <laughs> yeah. Blah, 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 blah. So many random encounters. Well, this is the source of the mist that you're in. Zambi.
All right, is it a master counter? Do I have other ritual hats? No. You're gonna want body temp on everybody. Hmm. Uh, I have one person who hasn't even learned body temp yet. Oh, 34 damage. Yeah, that helps a lot. I'm a little worried about my MP. Maybe I'll go back up. Go back up? Uh... Unless there's a Moogle before the boss. I wouldn't worry about the boss too much. Okay. The boss is undead. You're just going to want to steal a Brigandine from it, but then you can cast life on it <laughs> okay. and end the battle. <sighs> Everything up there look withered. This place looks totally different. It's so bright, I can't see the bottom. I guess we should try to get to the bottom of this. You're gonna have a couple uh, battles you can't avoid, huh? Yep. A few mandatory battles along the way. Hey, Zidane, I found something here. Maybe it'll move like the last one. It didn't move when I got on. You stood on it? Well, why don't we all try getting on? When I got on, I felt it respond. I guess we're in luck. Zoomy Leaf! Whoa. It sure freaked me out at first, but there's no wind or anything. I guess that glowing powder is stopping the wind somehow. You okay, Sapphire? Yes. I wonder where we're going. Yeah, me too. Maybe Ma can tell us something. What do you feel here inside the Aoife tree? Koopo! Koopo? Koopo! Popo! Really? 
Koopo. All right, thanks. Koopo po. Well, what's the word? Um, Mog senses a lot of life beneath us. Moogles are fairies, so they sense life everywhere, but Mog says there's a whole lot here. I wonder if Ancients of Kuja are down there. But what's the connection between Kuja and the Mist? <gasps> Incoming! Oh no, it's a back attack! Yep. Regular fire probably works just as well, but I mean, cures and all that do too. I mean, it's not like ethers are going to be much of a use later on. They don't heal enough MP, yeah. so... Oh, jeez! Lucky, please. They just ether himself. There's so many strange monsters here in the Aoife tree. Could the mist be causing it? Beats me. The evil forest in Gargan Ru had unique monsters too. But if the mist comes from this tree, how come it only appears on Zidane's continent? I guess there has to be something that channels the mist. Yes, but the question is why? Zidane? What's the matter? Vivi? What's wrong, Vivi? You've been lost in thought for a while. Oh, Zidane, I've been thinking about the mist. Do you remember the factory we saw in Dali? Yes, the factory where black mages were being made. Huh? Black mages? They look a lot like Vivi. Sapphire. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... It's okay, I'm not upset anymore about being made and everything. Vivi. Anyway, that factory had a lot of mist inside, right? Oh yeah, there was a huge machine filled with mist. That's right, and there were those strange eggs we saw. There's gotta be a connection between the mist Kuja and the black mages. I'm so confused. Huh? Another one's headed this way! Hold up. Okay. Damn, be dragon. Okay.
Woohoo! Alright! More stuff! Jelly and high tide, and reflect! Hey, I can finally see the bottom! It's so deep! I don't know what's down there, but we'll soon find out. Come with me. Are you gonna make a helpless little girl like me go all by herself? Uh, wait, there might be some monsters lurking there. Say, Zidane? Mog said he sensed life down here. Do you sense anything? Yeah, but you sense it too, don't you? We don't even need Mog to tell us that there's life down here. You're right. I can tell there's something down here. Okay, on this level there is a brigandine and an elixir. Okay. Elixir by the first stairway and a brigandine on the lower level in a blind spot. Okay. Do not talk to Vivi and Aiko until you have them. Let's see. And get the uh, body temp on people. Yeah. Lucky what? Man. Alright, Oh, he does have body temp. Okay. Yeah, by the stairs there. It might be the second stair. There's an elixir. Elixir. And then a blind spot, so I'm guessing behind something. Yeah, I see a couple things. Maybe the that second might be floor? It. Yeah. Just don't talk to them, because that'll initiate stuff. Lucky! I gotta see the screen, buddy. There it is. Let's probably go on Zidane or somebody. Ability up. Heck yeah! But you talk to them, there will be a boss fight. Okay. Manga's a little scared. So that sparkling water is a living thing? It's so pretty. Hey Zidane, come watch it with me. Aw, I'm hurt. You can see some sparkling water down below. It's really pretty. Maybe the mist comes from that water down there? So if the Ifa tree is the source of the mist... What can that sparkle be? Yeah, go, go talk to... What could this be? It could be a plant, but it also looks like a machine. Machine? What do you mean machine? 
Well, it sure doesn't look like any normal tree. Yeah, it's weird enough that the inside of a tree looks like this. Okay, it's supposed to initiate. Looks like it's been here for ages. A hundred, two hundred years or more. What can that sparkle be? Oh, there's a thing left of where Aiko and... Is it moving? Just my imagination. So much for Kuja. None of his lackeys are here either. Or maybe we have to go down there? It definitely sensed something down there. Zidane! What's up? Mog's saying... Something's coming from above. From above? Sapphire, come here now! Ah! Sapphire! Are you all right? I'm sorry, I was just startled. Is something wrong? Over there! It's them. We better go too. Can you stand? Yes, let's go. Look, the wall is moving! You're right. It's like it's alive. Echo, Vivi. Zidane, the wall's shaking faster. It's here. What was that? So it wasn't Kuja. Huh? What's going on? I can hear a voice inside my head. You just said Kuja. Where is he? I do not know. What are you doing here? Are you the one who makes the mist? It is not produced. Mist is a byproduct of the refining process. It is discharged through the roots. Discharged? So it's sent to other continents through the roots, right? But why? Why would you do that? I contaminate the other continents with mist to stimulate the fighting instinct. This, in turn, leads to war among the leaders of nations, and then to the fall of civilization. Kuja merely puts the byproduct to a different use. A different use? What is Kuja trying to do? I cannot lie. Kuja used the waste product to make weapons. Weapons like yourself. <laughs> He's really taking me off! Can I kill him? Wait, Eiko. What kind of weapons did Kuja make? Kuja called them Black Mages, Dark Spawn of the Mist. So the factory in Dali was really... Defeat me and no more mist will flow. And then no more weapons like this puppet here will be made. Answer me, puppet. Do you deny your very birth? Why you... No more! Vivi? I won't let you make any more instruments of murder! Way to go, Vivi. I know it's hard for you. We can knock off this rat now, right? Alright, let's bust him up. Who knows, it might even lure Kuja here. I have seen the end of my thousand-year life, and it is not now. You cannot stop me. It is futile even to try. Brigandine's pretty much the only thing you'd want to steal another okay. one of. It has a magician cloak and an oak staff, but you already have a bunch of those. Just steal it and then cast life on it. <laughs> Level 5 death! Failure.
Oak Staff. Mustard Bomb. That is why you want a body temperature. All right, well, as long as he doesn't target Aiko. Yeah, then you might have to revive her. It's going to be one of those nights again, huh? Should be too hard to steal. I mean, shell. Oh, excuse me, shell or something might work. Oh no, trance! Double trance! <coughs> Magician cloak. Jeez. Jeez, he's stubborn. Uh oh, that wasn't Aiko, was it? No, it wasn't. Yeah. Luckily, you can't hit in the mouse. Why are you bapping the mouse? <laughs> yeah. He wants to help. Lucky, you want to help? Sheesh. 
Yeah, this boss is normally dangerous without body extent because heat can like one shot you. Being stubborn about that brigandine, isn't he? Jeez. It's not even a hard steal. There we go. Yep. Yeah, you stole it finally, huh? Then you could just... Yep. Let's get out of here. <coughs> it suggests Zidane knowing Distract ability? I don't know if you have that already. I think I do, yeah. Wow, the air's so clear. The Eva tree looks so pretty now. Will this clear up your mist continent? I think so. Now let's see if Ku just shows up. Vivi? Zidane, did I do the right thing? You said that black mages are made from the mist, right? When I thought about how other black mages were being made for war, I didn't want that to happen no matter what. Now there will be no more new black mages. I think they'll all hate me. No way! Listen to me. You should never lie to yourself. After all, your brothers wouldn't want you to do that. Do you really think so? Do you think they'll understand? Of course, they're your brothers. It'll be alright. Huh? What is it, Mog? Moko? Aiko! What's the matter? Why'd you come all this way? No way! Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, I'll go on ahead and tell the others. You guys are gonna wait here for Kuja, right? I gotta go back to the village. Wait, Aiko, what's up? Someone stole something precious from the village. Zidane. We'll go with you, Aiko. Thanks, but what about Kuja? Madain Sari isn't that far. He can wait. 
it. Okay, I guess it says equip the rune tooth. And is the strongest stuff you can in Zidane. Okay. Yep, you got it already. Probably already have the strongest stuff on him. Yeah. Yep, you're good. Mishka, why did you unmake my bed? I just made that. Don't give me that one. <laughs> She's Customs. such a puppy. Yep, yep. We enemies. Yay! Enemies! Mishka, quit unmaking my bed! No, when you can tell me no. Lucky before he could block this. He's guy. a lucky Mr. Lucky. So many goblins, man. Yeah. Me. Shell? Okay. She mastered shell. Here, yourself. You move it. Move your butt. I'm home. I'm home. Moku told me the news. Are you all right? Come now. Talk later, Kupo. Kupo. Hey, Aiko. We better follow her. Kitchen. Enter the room down by the fishing spot. You'll find a survival vest in the Phoenix Town. What's going on, Aiko? It's it's the precious stone that has been passed down in this village for generations is gone. My grandparents said they said that we should take care of it because it's a symbol of the summoner's heritage. Well, how about crying for a change? It'll help. I'm not gonna cry. I'm a grown up now, and crying won't help one bit. All right. How about we start looking for clues? I'll have two. Is it... Is it my fault? 
Is it because I broke my promise and opened the Aoife tree's seal? Everyone, everyone was watching over to stone. Echo. It just happened that way. It wasn't your fault. Besides, we're the ones who made you open the seal. You understand, right? The real villain is the thief who stole it. So let's just look for some clues and get that stone back, okay? Okay. I wasn't gonna cry, you know. After all, I'm a grown-up. We know, Echo. But if you feel like crying, just cry. I'm gonna go pray to my grandparents. I'll be right back. If you need to, you can cry too, Sapphire. My shoulder's always available. Yeah, thanks. What about you, Zidane? What do you do when you need to cry? Oh, I get real clingy when I'm sad. Cut it out! <laughs> hey, I was serious. <laughs> I heard a scream. It sounded like Echo. Damn it, the thief was still here. Zane, I saw her! It's that girl from Fossil Roo! She took Echo! They went to the Eidolon Wall. Let's go. Whoops. Grab the stuff. There are two things in here. Survival vest and something else. There you go. I don't know if survival vest doesn't upgrade on anybody, but eh, you got it's it. It's not. It's something I had. Yay! Nice, weedy. Okay, do not go in to the wall first. Peek inside first. You'll get some items. And then you can enter inside. Look what happened to Aiko. The ancestors will be displeased. Tell us if there's anything we can do for you, Koopo. Talk to everybody to peek inside, of course. Peek inside, yes. This is no way to treat a lady! What's this wing arm on your back? It makes you so easy to pick up. My grandpa gave it to me! Get your grubby hands off it! Oh, shut up. Just be still until he gets here. I found a treasure, Koopo! Use it for Echo, Koopo! Exploda! Elixir! Tell us if there's anything we can do for you, Koopo. Was Mog captured too? Nope, Mog is right here behind me. Koopo! Mog, I need your help to save Echo. Koopo! I got an idea. It's alright, he won't be in any danger. Koopo? It's no use. Mog has always been a coward. Yeah, well, we gotta do something. Go save her! Alright, let's go. Well, so there's my good Sir Knight. What have you done to Aiko? She was too rambunctious, so I put her to sleep with a sleeping weed. Sleeping weed, eh? She's probably sleeping well. If it's my pendant you're after, then leave the others out of it. No can too. This is way too convenient to pass up. Hand over your pendant and I'll hand over to girl, capiche? What happened to the pendant that you always have on? I have it. Oh, you really are a good knight. Now cough it up already. First, tell me something. Was it you who stole the village stone? Queen Braun is after the royal pendant. I found another jewel just like it in this village. I'm glad I came all the way looking for it. Now hand it over. If only Aiko was conscious. Hold on! You're plotting something, aren't you? Stay right there! You, Black Mage! Huh? Me? 
Bring me the pendant. Remember, do as I say if you value this brat's life. Zidane. <sighs> do it, Vivi. Okay. <laughs> Hold it! Ah! I don't know who you. Are. I don't know who you are, but thanks. Yo, can you stand? Huh? What's going on? <laughs> Where's that old hag? Oh, that's it. Who are you calling a hag? You. So the tables turn. Now hand over to Jewel you stole. What are you trying to do, Red? I thought you were supposed to be the number one bandit. I've seen him before. He's the one with wanted posters all over Treno. Not here to help. I just want to be fair. What are you talking about? Leave the jewel and get out of here. What? We're partners on this job! I don't work with hostage-taking scumbags. Now get lost. Or would you rather fight me? Mark my words, I'll collect a bounty on you someday. Now fight me. Just a second here. What's going on? I told you, I'm not here to help. I just want to level the playing field. Eh, fair enough. Let's do it. Anything to steal? No. Zidane. There's nothing worth stealing. It's okay. Yeah, I was just looking for more ways to impress you. He's going to move around in the battle. Do wait for him to stop after, a, like, right after a jump where he moves. Otherwise, he'll counter everything. You won't be able to hit him. Okay. You just have to wait and use a stronger attack if you got one, when he lands near the fourth pillar. Near, oh, the third pillar from the left, not the fourth. <gasps> I think at this point it just... Normal attacks at this point. You're slow. Yeah, it's once he's. It's right after he stops moving. Just wait for him. Trance time! Hey, now you can probably wipe them out. <laughs> Let's see. Dine. Solution 9. Oh good, he just moved too. Rat. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> wow, is the day entranced in during a, a moment where it's actually useful? I got a tent. Beat Super Saiyan 4. I lost. Go on, finish me. Can you stand? Give back what you stole. Aiko, I got it back. Now finish me. 
You want to die that bad? I just spared your life. So you want to banish me then? You can go if you want. I won't follow you. <laughs> Trying to trick me, eh? Trick you? I tried to kill you. Why are you letting me go? The fight's over and we're both still alive. Good enough, right? We got back what was stolen from us, after all. Listen to you. I lost to some spineless thief. The sly eagle doesn't kill at whim. Keep that in a safe place. I will. Thanks, Zidane. Well, you're not going to leave me alone after what just happened, are you? Huh? I'm going! Shall we? <clears throat> Whoops. You're pretty good. Thanks for rescuing her. Yep, go below back to the kitchen. The, that area where you she was before. Thanks for saving Echo, Koopo. Not yet. Koopo. It's either, it sounds like it's either raining or somebody's popping popcorn. She's in quiet the whole time. Sidine, let me ask you something. My grandfather told me not to leave the village until my 16th birthday. But I want to go with you guys, I really do. Do you think it's okay if I leave the village? I'll agree if that's what you want. Aiko, come with us. Forget what your grandpa said. It doesn't matter what I say. You've already made up your mind. Don't you have something to say to her, Vivi? Huh? Remember what you taught me at the Aoife tree? You said I shouldn't ever lie to myself. I'll try to be more honest with my own feelings. You should too, Aiko. Hmm. I forgot my own advice, Vivi. Thanks. I'll wear the jewels and earring. It'll be okay then, right, Zidane? Memory earring. Aiko? I think Mog wants to talk to you. Koopo! Koopo! What? You think I'm mad at you? I'm furious! You went off without me again! You promised me you wouldn't! What would you do if you went off and got into trouble? Koopo. Oh well, thank goodness we're both alright. You're always nice to Mog, aren't you, Eiko? Well, yeah, we're best friends after all. We were born on the same day and we've always been together. This is our friendship ribbon. Mog gave it to me. Mog, do you have the ribbon I gave you? Koopo! This is the one I gave to Mog. It's too big for her now, but once we're both sophisticated ladies, we'll wear them together. Koopo! Maybe then Zidane you'll dance with me. Zidane? I didn't know Mog was a girl. I wonder where Sapphire went. They were born on the same day, but Aiko came out first. Maybe that's why Aiko's always been the big sister. From now on, you don't need me for anything for quite a while here. Okay. Just, uh, future fights are going to be undead, and you can kill them with life. Woo! So. I'll be right back. Okay. I smell an end of disc two. Oop, hold up, what was that?
I hear a song. Sapphire? From down there? Sapphire, you there? Zidane. It's okay. Keep singing. Because it's our song, right? I'm surprised you found this place. You got the talent to be a bandit. How about you and me team up? We'll call ourselves the Betrothed. My talent's up to snuff, but that name isn't. <laughs> You're really something these days. If I am, I must have gotten it from you. Nah, it's all because you made the effort to learn. No, it's because you stuck with me. Without you, I couldn't have made it to Lindblom, much less seen a whole new continent. Everything I tried to do on my own was a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At times, I almost lost hope. You helped me so much. Not just you, either. Yeah, Vivian Aiko helped out at the Ifa tree. Queen was real helpful when we left the continent. Freya, Steiner, even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I haven't forgotten. I want to believe everyone is alright, but sometimes I just can't. I hope I can live up to the hopes of everyone who's helped me. You don't have to feel so responsible, Sapphire. But I do! Nobody wants you to feel that way. They didn't do it all for you, either. Each was following his own path. His own path? Well, what about you? Huh? Why did you come with me? Hey, that's Ibsen's line. Ibsen? Who's that? Ibsen is a character from a play, but he's a real-life adventurer. I think the play is based on his adventures. It kind of goes like this. Ibsen and his good friend Colin worked at a tavern in Trano. One day Ibsen got a letter. The letter was so wet from rain that most of the writing was illegible. The only part he could read said, come back home. Nowadays we have airships and stuff, but back then it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why he had to go back, but he got some time off, gathered his things, and set out on his journey home. He walked a thousand leagues through the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it because his friend Colin was by his side. And then, after much time on the road, he had to ask Colin something. Why did you come with me? And what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. Oh no, they're drifting out to sea! <laughs> it was Adol and Dogi! Zidane. I... Sapphire? Can't you... Can't you hear the song? Huh? Yeah, it's that song. How come... Who's singing it? <laughs> Sunset makes the idol and wall look like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. What? Where?
Sapphire. Sapphire, wake up! Where's Vivi? He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. Well. I have no memory of my early childhood. I never really thought about it. Besides, nobody ever told me. I was raised in Alexandria, but only from the age of six or so. Six? So where were you till then? Until then, until I turned six, I must have been here in Medane Sari. I still can't remember everything. Some things are like they're shrouded in fog. But I do remember one thing. About ten years ago, an unbelievably huge hurricane hit this village. That's as far as I remember. That day, I... I was with my true mother on a little boat far from the village. There's a cove behind Aiko's house, right? The boat I was on was just like the one there. It all came back to me when I heard that song on the boat. That song is from Medane Sari, so that's why nobody else knows it. How did you get to Alexandria? How come you got to be how come you got to be a princess? How come you don't have a summoner's horn? I don't know. But maybe Dr. Tot can tell me. About the lady who protected me from the storm as the boat lurched about in the waves. My biological mother who died on that boat. The one she thought was her mother became someone else, and her true mother was already dead. Sapphire's lost two mothers. I used to pray every day here at the Eidolon Wall. You too? You pray here too, Eiko? I'm so happy I remembered. Sapphire! Welcome home! So glad to be back. <laughs> what? I just realized I'm not alone anymore. Yep, I made up my mind. Zidane, Sapphire, I'm going with you. I'll be breaking my promise to my grandpa, but I want to go. Besides, Grandpa always told me to be honest with myself. I don't know what the future holds, but I want to finish what I came here for. So do I. Let's all go together. Come on, Sapphire, let's go pray together. Alright. I still don't know what I should do. By the time we defeat Kuja and return to Alexandria... Grandpa, I'll be back soon! Oh, you're coming with us? Hey, why the long face? Oh, nothing. My face is always like this. Mog's coming too! Mog! <laughs> Lady Aiko! Now don't forget that you'll always have a home in Medane Sari. Don't let our memory become a burden. You must always be light-hearted and free. Thoughts of the idol on wall will always lift your heart. What now? You want some more, eh? The victor lives, the defeated die. You know the rules. Your actions yesterday were incomprehensible to me. Tell me, why didn't you kill me? 
Well, that's a tough question. Are you really that unhappy that I let you live? I'd rather die as a warrior than live as a beggar. Then come with me. Zidane? What? What are you after? Follow me and maybe you'll understand. Besides, you're pretty good in a fight. We could use someone like you. We're hunting a man down. His only constant is his unpredictability. Huh? You say something. Very well. I'll find out what makes you so strong. What's your name? Call me what you will. Mm, Lonnie called you Red, right? Some call me the Flaming Amarant. Fine, we'll call you Amarant. The more the merrier. Let's decide our marching order. Alrighty. You can set your party. I would put the replace Sapphire for now. Yeah. Quena has gone missing again, of course. Of course. Amaranth is here. He's, he's here. Just kind of, he, he's, this is the character I was talking about that's just kind of pointless. <laughs> Alright, we'll do here. fine. Just follow me. Next stop, the Aoife tree. This will be quick, and then there's going to be quite a lot of cutscenes. Okay. And get Amaranth equipped. Sure. Start with that. You already have. It. Oh wait, you know, yeah, black belt and power belt about the same stuff, yeah. Get to get his abilities equipped and all that. Or he even has any. Undead killer, you're in one. In this area, at least. was the perfect chance to accidentally be summoning <laughs> Mog, I guess. Mastered High Tide. Okay. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> it came out of the water! I need water. Alrighty. Whoops! Okay. Let's go. Cutscene City under this two, maybe. Wahoo! On to the Eva Tree again. This Friday. So does throwing consume the thrown weapon? Yes. Nah. Just like previous Final Fantasies. That's why you could buy throwing weapons. For 200 gil a pop, that... I yeah, I never useful. really used throw very much. I mean, I did with, like, Shadow, but you could buy a bunch real cheap and... Yeah. I mean, you can still buy a bunch later. I never really use Amaranth because he's not really that great. Okay. And he's just kind of there. It's kind of weird. It's better than having two white mages. <laughs> yeah. And because the dagger doesn't have a lot of summons yet. Yeah. And, uh, well, Aiko is a better white mage than she is. Hmm. Still... Dagger is much better <clears throat> later on, at least... I use her all the time. It's still a little missed, but at least there's no more coming out. It must mean Kuja isn't here yet. What happened to the mist? We beat the beast that breathes it. 
So much for the mist continent. No more mists. They must possess incredible powers to accomplish such a feat. Nah, just one spell. <laughs> Life. Zidane, there's a silver dragon. It's him. He flew from the ruins of Burmesia riding a silver dragon. It's Kujal, right? And he's riding that dragon. Oh, how I've longed for this day. The day I might finally cast away the mask to reveal my true self. I might have missed my chance, but, uh... What are you trying to do with, like, the... Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? What? <laughs> I, that's, I I Absorbent and you. yellow and porous is he! <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> Now it no longer matters if the Aoife tree is liberated. It means nothing to me. <laughs> a tree is so beautiful, its beauty becomes a great mother tree that lives among the stars. Silver Dragon, let us watch the drama unfold from the trunk of Aoife. No one shall interrupt us there. <clears throat> Who do I want to take with me to fight Kuja? Keep current party members. I don't know where Quaida went, but hey. He'll be back later. <laughs> you know I'm not keeping a sneeze count for this game, right? Yeah. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. Alright. We'll pass the trunk if we go any farther. Kuja went down that trunk. Say, Zidane, how are we going to get up there? Can't we climb there? Whoops. Not me. Me neither. I don't think I can either. I came all this way. Now what? What's the problem? You should just go by yourself. We gotta go face Kuja together. How did this wimp end up beating me? Whoa! Hey! Hey, Amaranth, watch where you're walking. You almost knocked me down. He who hesitates is lost. You'd best remember that. Well, I prefer my way or the highway. <sighs> Whatever. Look, you actually have a plan. Oh, yeah, smarty pants? Don't forget you're the one that lost to Zidane. <sighs> Shut up, brat. A plan, huh? <sighs> That's right, Amaranth. You owe me one, remember? It's payback time. <sighs> Shoot. There's some Gargant grass around here, so Gargant can't be far. I want you to catch one for me. Then we can all get on and ride it to the top. Why should I do all that when I could just take the kids up myself? Huh? How would I ever let this dimwit beat me? Hey! Whoa! He sure has spirit. It's all right. a hedgehog. <laughs> Alright, Sapphire. I'll just carry you piggyback. Huh? Hey, Zidane! Wait, just a... It's not working. Dang it. Oh, it's that the voice mod or whatever yeah, crashing in? Probably. The weak lose their freedom to the strong. Such is the way of the strong, and is the providence of nature that only the strong survive. That is why I needed strength. I learned of powers that would daunt even him over ten years ago. Such a long time. Now my forces are ready to strike. Ah, the suspense is terrible. 
So they've come this far, have they? Perfect. I'll warm up on them until the elephant lady shows up. Ominous. Thanks, Amarant. Now we're even. Show me what you guys can do. There's Kuja. Yeah. Get ready, guys. Kuja, maker of black mages. Any enemy of Zazane is an enemy of mine. Okay, let's go. You are Kuja, correct? My name is... Princess Garnet Till Alexandros. I wish to ask you something. Was it really you who persuaded my mother to start the war? The war that threw the entire mist continent into chaos? And you made everyone, the black mages, into instruments of war? Oh dear, the princess has such a bloodthirsty little puppet. I don't have the power to do such a thing. I just gave them a little recipe. Begin with broth of mist, add fermented souls, and boil. Then pour genuine black magic into a mixing bowl and heat to- STOP IT! I'm not done telling how to make soulless toys out of the dregs of souls. Dregs of souls? You mean mist? First, you don't want to listen. Now you start asking questions? Oh, brother. But you're not ready yet. Why, you- Don't you feel anything? Taking the lives of so many? Spare me to lecture. Lives come and go all the time. What's the big deal? Speaking of warmongers, why, what about that mother of yours, princess? She said she won't feel alive until she has everything. It breaks my heart to see such greed. The war was my fault? No, no, your mother wanted it. All I did was give her a little push. Liar! My mother was sweet and kind. You changed her. <laughs> so, the curtain rises. Perfect, my canary. Let me show you the truth about your mother. First act. The end of the ugly desire. It's showtime. So you finally decided to show your girly face here! You're all that stands between me and total domination! <laughs> but I haven't forgotten all you've done for me! In return, I will show you the ultimate power! Attention, all hands! Order the black mages to focus all their magical energies into a single spell! Lay suppressing fire upon Kuja until the casting is finished! Fire! Fire at will! Orders from Her Majesty. Black Mages, focus all your magical energy into a single spell. I can't believe it! Your mother isn't satisfied with just one continent. Her ugliness and stupidity are truly impressive. <laughs> uh, everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. What are you talking about? You're just the opening number. Time for the real show. We won't let you get away! The mist may be created no more, but it still lurks in caves and forests, right? Huh? I can make monsters with magic. Come forth, spawn of the mist!
Lavo spawn? What? <laughs> they look like, what is it, that eater of the time eater or whatever it was, the devourer? Yeah, of they kind of do. Whoa. Whoa. What is that noise? Is that your controller? Uh, probably. Extra doggo! Summon Pluto. <laughs> uh oh. Did Anna fell asleep? Yeah, these things really aren't too dangerous. And you can kill them with a life spell. Oh. You're gonna have more battles. I wouldn't waste all your stuff for summoning puppers. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Kutz. So two of your enemies are duking it out? Why well, not just leave them and finish off the winner? My money's on Kuja. <laughs> Foolish brawn! Your prized cannons are useless against the spawn of the mist! <laughs> but even a fool like you knows that there is only one path you can take, right? Stupid elephant lady, why do you hesitate? Very well. I'll make the first move. I'll give you a clean target. You can't miss! Silver dragon, descend! <coughs> More like a green dragon, dude. Amaranth's right. Let's split before we get dragged in. No. I can't. I can't let anything happen to my mother. Sapphire? Zidane, I... I have to save her. Uh, Sapphire, she extracted Eidolons from you and started the war. I still don't want her to die. But she didn't care one bit whether you lived or died. You don't have to call her mother anymore. She's my only mother! I don't care if you don't understand. Eiko, you said that there was an Eidolon in prison near here, right? Um, yeah. Please, tell me where. It's a long way down. You see the place with lots of roots? That's it. There, I see it. Sapphire, don't go alone! Lucky Blips. This is turning into quite a show. And we can get emotional at a time like this. Give her a break. Zidane, let's go. Sapphire's in danger all by herself. Yeah. Let's go after her. There's a letter from Stilskin, but I don't understand what he's saying. The miss is gone. Is this a blessing or a curse? Goopo, I don't understand. Can we all be happy now that the miss is gone? I don't think he has anything. Just keep following Sapphire. That must be a fan making that noise. Hmm. Oh, it sounds like a rotating fan. Oop, hi! <laughs> yeah, there's a few mandatory fights with these things. Boop.
Running, running, running. I'm surprised you only ran into one of those things. Yeah. Usually there's a couple. I sense the Eidolon's power. Now, now I can save my mother. Please help me. Aquamarine. No! I can't save my mother with this Eidolon. Sapphire, what's wrong? Can't you free it? No, I have it. I sense it's a great Eidolon, but... But... I don't believe it. This is the legendary Sea Serpent Leviathan. Leviathan? An Eidolon who wipes out its enemies with a huge tidal wave. I'm sorry, Sapphire. No, it's not your fault, but my mother's still in danger. Isn't Her Majesty ready yet? All remaining ammunition was spent on that last wave of monsters. Next we will chew us up unless we pull out now. That is not our decision. Get back to your post, soldier. Her Majesty, the Black Mages have completed their preparations. That insolent whelp! Now I can finish him off! Come! Draconic Seedling! Bahamut, King of Dragons! Heard of stories, but I never thought summoning could be so powerful. Zadina's after their power. I'd better watch out. Wow! Now we can win, and Mother won't have to die! Aiko, don't you think. What's wrong? Mog! She's terrified! How come? Don't you know? That's the last idol on Bahamut the Dragon King. He'll win for sure. Blood. <laughs> Excellent, Bahamut. Power, mobility, you truly are the best. You even hurt me a little. And you, Bronn, your tragic role in this drama now comes to an end. I'm sure you enjoyed a second act from your soul's hellish prison since the stage will be your former home. The final act will take us away from Gaia, and I will kill my nemesis with my own hand. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan.
That was a very Dragon Quest face. Yeah, she is very Dragon Quest looking. I don't know why Bahamut attacked the one who summoned him. But we found Queen Braun on the beach next to her escape pod. She could hardly move, and I thought she'd come to a stop any second. I hate Kuja a lot, but I hate Braun a lot too. So much that I wanted this to happen to her. I should be happy, but... Once I saw Sapphire start to cry, I didn't know how I should feel. I kind of wanted to cry too. I can hear my daughter's voice. Yes, mother, I'm here. Right here. I, I am empty now. Free. Free of that terrible greed. Mother! I haven't felt this way since I saw that play with you and your father. I led Alexandria down the path of ruin. The people would be happier with you on the throne. We went back to Alexandria on Queen Bronze escape pod. We also brought Sapphire's mother with us. This way, princess. Steiner? Beatrix? How horrible that her life had to end this way. I still can't believe all that has happened. Princess, it was my- No, it was my fault! Thank you, both of you. I must now carry the burden of ruling Alexandria alone. Will both of you please help me during this, my time of need? Yes, princess, certainly. Thank you. Princess, here is a wreath of roses, your mother's favorite. The townspeople sent it as an offering for the queen's grave. True, Queen Braun had been acting quite erratic before her death. But the people are still very fond of her, as you can see. Mother. I shall become a great queen.
I think that was the end of disc two there. <laughs> hmm. Princess, we have arrived at the castle. She won't be a princess for much longer, Dr. Tot. <laughs> Indeed. I shall have to call you Queen Garnet after, co after the coronation. I must make preparations for the crowning of our new queen. General Beatrix, Master Steiner, will you help her? Princess, please watch your step. Dr. Todd. Princess, I know how hard this must be, but I will be by your side. Please take the throne with full confidence. Three more days until the crowning of a new queen. What a day! Lucky. We ain't seen each other in ages. Why the sourpuss, partner? What happened? Maybe that sapphire chick dumped him. Bingo. This ain't like you at all, Zidane. Hey, Ruby. I heard you started a mini theater. That's right, darling. My plays are a hit. Cool, let's go watch. Yeah. Alright, cowboys. Zidane, you ain't coming, are you? It's alright, darling. Come on over whenever you want. Let's go, boys. This way, everyone. Oops, sorry. Huh? Hey, Vivi! Hello. I haven't seen you since you left Alexandria Castle. How are you? Well, a lot of things happened, but I'm doing fine. How about you? What have you been doing since we left the castle? Me? Let's see. Oh yeah, it's been crazy since you guys escaped. Rusty, <coughs> Rusty, that rat chick Freya, and... Uh, what's her face? That girl general of Alexandria. Beatrix. Yeah, three of them got totally worked. Marcus and I had to carry them out on our backs. Marcus? We gotta get going before Ruby gets mad at us again. Oh yeah, she hates it when we're late. Sorry, Vivi. I'll see you later. Alright, time to find a Moogle. At the church. Just do not go to the mini theater first. Because that will progress things. Okay. Let's see, the church is... If I can find a way there. Ooh, active time event. It's so big. Oh my! What a gigantic house! I gotta see the inside. We cook good food. Hey! Something smells delicious. You hungry? You very hungry? You unbearably hungry? Too bad. Waluigi time. Alright. There's a mini game here. I think it's not this way. It is north. Uh, here, like, don't talk to Hippo's mom. There's shops here that have upgrade. Is there shops here? No. I am lo I'm looking to save. Okay. Then go north of where the bar was. Yep. Yeah, that way. More active time. Been a long time. 
Been a while. Where have you been? We were worried. Sorry, I've been training. Training? Yeah, training. Training for what? Tell us. It was... Okay. And when you're in the mains, just keep going to get them. Uh, oh, well, there's even more! Yay! Sedane's done himself in this time. Yeah. But think about it. He's never been in a serious relationship before. He probably doesn't even know what to do with himself right now. Come on, he's in love with a queen. Did he think it'd work out? I'm sure he thought about that a lot. That's why he's in turmoil. He looks so depressed. Yeah. So then this is something he needs to deal with head on. This is gonna make him stronger, he'll see. And head west from here, or well after the time events. Moogle. Artemisia. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Hey, Stiltskin, long time no see. Hey, Artemision, why does your coat look so shiny? Well, it's not my, <gasps> my business. Listen, have you been delivering mail properly? Of course I have. Are you sure you delivered all my mail to my friends? Of course I did, you sent out five. But what about the other one? All right, find the church. Okay, go west. Do not go down into where... No, just go west. Don't go north. Do not go into the mini theater where you saw Zidane's friends hanging out at. Don't go down in there. Just keep going south. Here we go. And then go in the church, and that's where your saves will be. Hi, Stiltskin. You can buy everything from Stiltskin and talk to the Moogles and ring the bell for prizes. Thanks, buddy. I used the money for my next journey. I'm Artemision, the Magnet Mailman. You're asking me why I don't deliver mail properly? I c can't tell you. And the other Mog has a letter you can deliver to. Give Koopo a letter. Hey, br my big brother sent me a letter? Koopo, where's he been? I've been so worried. From Koopo to Koopo. Fossil Roo is very comfortable. I like it here, Koopo. We play hide and seek every day. The most important things in life are to work hard and play hard, Koopo. I'm glad my big brother's doing well, Koopo. Artemision just delivered a letter to me from far away. Let's read it. From Magrika to Kupo. Even Moogles want to look beautiful. I use my special item very carefully. You don't come across it very often. It's very special to me, Kupo. Oh, it's a letter from Magrika, the most beautiful Moogle in the world. What a pleasant surprise, Kupo. Should have got a Kupo nut from this guy, at least. Hmm. Did he give you one? No. It says... You'll receive the Koopo Nut in return from Koopo. He should have given you one, but... At least from, uh, giving him the letter. I don't think he gave me one. Let me check my items. Nope. No Koopa Nuts. It would be an T item, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have one Koopa Nut. Yeah, that's all you would have. Okay. Alright, I mean, you're already saved, but otherwise we need to remember to ring the bell. Yeah. You get some rare cards for ringing the bell. Well, actually, I think you need to do hip, hip ball racing first before you ring the bell. Which is a mini game, but we'll okay. see. <sighs> Shiva card. Ramu card. Never mind, you got the treasures anyways. Yay. Time to save again. Yep. 
And then there's hip hall racing, which I don't know specifically what the mini game. Is, I ain't doing that tonight. Like, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're halfway through the game. Cool. Mm -hmm. We got a bunch more stuff with Kuja to go <laughs> after sadness. Mm. Kind of feel sorry for Queen Brown, even though she was just a jerk. But <laughs> Fire Emblem Sorcerers, man. Sheesh. Her thing. All right, well, uh, I'll be hanging out on Fox's channel tomorrow for Trails of Cold Steel 4, and then... Uh... Yeah, we got to finish that up before Reverie, but it, it, yep. we, that won't happen, because Reverie's next week. <laughs> yep, and, uh, you know, I'll be back on Wednesday uh, running Trails of Creation. Mm-hmm. So, so Tuesday, we'll be back with something. Something. Play Ghost Trick! I just came out. I, I'm not buying Ghost Trick. I don't know I, if I want I to... bought you Ghost Trick. I sent it to you. You, you did? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, Steve doesn't tell me this. <laughs> <laughs> pending gifts. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should check my pending gifts. I don't know who would send me something, but uh, yeah. The okay. thing I was expecting is the birthday thing for the uh, reverie or whatever, but... Yeah. Ghost trick. Okay, I can try it out on Tuesday then. Here. Not well, me. I can I kind of feel like your house has a lot of needs right now, and I was gonna get you something more important than a game. Well, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know I what mean, though. I, I just gotta figure out when I'll be able to get Reverie for streaming it once we're done mm -hmm. with Cold Steel Four. Although we probably got a couple weeks of that left. Yeah, I'll sit. I'll get you Reverie too. I got money to spare. <laughs> yeah, Reverie's coming. I mean, I don't know how many weeks we have left to Cold Steel 4, so it's not like it's a big uh, deal. It's not going anywhere on Steam. <laughs> yeah. Maybe four to six weeks. Oh, that's still quite a bit. Yeah, we got plenty of time to not worry about it. Yeah. I'm not playing. I mean, I'm going to be streaming it, so I'm not playing it until I'm done with 4, anyways. Yep. Give me a chance to get ahead. So, uh, yeah. Yes, that does. is the plan, guys. I will see you all on Wednesday. Alrighty.